Today we will discuss question answers of the first chapter diversity in the living world. So let's start. Why are living organisms classified? The answer will be living organisms are classified because of the following reasons. Easy identification, study of organisms of other places, study of fossils. Grouping helps in study of all types of organisms while it is impossible to study individually all of them. It brings out similarities and dissimilarities. They help in knowing relationships among different groups. Evolution of various taxa can be known. Why are the classification systems changing every now and then? From very early days till now, biologists use several characters for classification system. These are morphology, anatomy, cytology, physiology, ontogeny, phylogeny, reproduction, biochemistry, etc. But day by day, biologists are learning something new about organisms from their fossil records and using advanced study techniques such as molecular phylogeny. So, their point of view about classification keeps changing. Thus, the system of classification is modified every now and then. The third one. What different criteria would you choose to classify people that you meet often? The various criteria that may be chosen to classify people whom we meet often include behavior, geographical location, morphology, family members, relatives, friends, etc. What do we learn from identification of individuals and populations? Answer will be the knowledge of characteristic of an individual or its whole population helps in identification of similarities and dissimilarities among the individuals of same kind or between different types of organisms. It helps us to classify the organisms in various categories depending upon these similarities and dissimilarities. Even below is the scientific name of mango. Identify the correctly written name, Mangifera indica, with both genus and species name in capital letter, and Mangifera indica, only the first letter of the species name is in small letter. The correctly written scientific name of mango is Mangifera indica with species name in small letter and both the genus and species name is separately underlined. This is the rule for writing a scientific name. The sixth one, define a taxon, gives some example of taxa at different hierarchical levels. A taxonomic unit in the biological system of classification of organism is called taxon in plural taxa for example a phylum order family genus or species represents taxon it represents a rank for example all the insects from a taxon taxon of class category for birds is avis taxon of phylum category for birds is caudata the degree of relationship and degree of similarity varies with the rank of the taxon. Individuals of a higher rank, say order or family, are less closely related than those of a lower rank, such as genus or species. Can you identify the correct sequence of taxonomical categories? The correct sequence of taxonomical categories is species, then genus, then order, then phylum because species is the smallest, then genus, then coming order, then phylum. Try to collect all the currently accepted meanings for the word species. Discuss with your teacher the meaning of species in case of higher plants and animals on one hand and bacteria on the other hand. The answer will be species occupies a key position in classification. It is the lowest taxonomic category. It is a natural population of individuals or groups of population. 
which resemble one another in all essential morphological and reproductive characters so that they are able to interbreed freely and produce fertile offspring each species is also called genetically distinct and reproductively isolated natural population mayer in 1964 has defined species as a group of actually or potentially interbreeding populations that are reproductively isolated from other such groups in higher plants and animals the term species refers to a group of individuals that are able to interbreed freely and produce fertile offspring but in case of bacteria interbreeding cannot serve as the best criteria for daily meeting species because bacteria usually reproduce asexually conjugation transformation and transduction which are termed as sexual reproduction methods in bacteria also do not correspond to true interbreeding thus for bacteria many other characters such as molecular homology biochemical physiological ecological and morphological characters are taken into consideration while classifying them define and understand the following terms phylum class family order genus starting with phylum phylum is a category higher than that of class the term phylum is used for animals a phylum is formed of one or more classes the phylum chordata of animals contains not only the class mammalia but also aphis the birds reptilia reptiles amphibia the amphians etc in plants the term division is used in place of phylum class a class is made of one or more related orders for example class mammalia of all mammals contains all primates like human monkey chimpanzee etc and all carnivora order animals like tiger cat dog etc family it is a taxonomic category which contains one or more related genera all the genera of a family have some common features or correlated characters they are separable from genera of a related family by important and characteristic differences in both vegetative and reproductive features genus of cats felis and leopard the panthera are included in the family felidae the members of family felidae are quite distinct from those of family canidae the dogs foxes and wolves similarly family solanaceae contains a number of genera like solanum datura petunia and nicotiana order the category includes one or more related families example family felidae and canidae are included under the order carnivora along with hyanidae the hyenas and ursidae the bears genus it is a group of assemblage of related species which resemble one another in certain correlated characters correlated characters are those similar or common features which are used in delimination of a taxon above the rank of species all the species of a genus are presumed to have evolved from a common ancestor a genus may have a single living species example genus homo its species is homo sapiens the modern man we are the only species but the genus felis has many species felis domesticus the common cat or domesticated cat or felis chaos the jungle cat how is a key helpful in the identification and classification of an organism the answer will be he is an artificial analytic device having a list of statements with dichromatic table of alternate characteristics taxonomic keys are aids for rapid identification of unknown plants and animals 
based on the similarities and dissimilarities. Keys are primarily based on stable and reliable characters. Helpful in faster preliminary identification. This can be backed up by confirmation through comparison with detailed description of the taxon professionally identified with. Separate taxonomic keys are used in each taxonomic category like family, genus, and species. Illustrate the taxonomical hierarchy with suitable examples of a plant and an animal. Arrangement of various taxa in a hierarchical order is taxonomic hierarchy. The hierarchy indicates the various levels of kinship. Number of similar characters of categories decreases from lowest rank to highest rank. Hierarchical system of classification was introduced by Carolus Linnaeus. The hierarchy of major categories is species, then genus, then family, then order, then class, etc. Let's discuss classification of a plant. For example, wheat falls under the kingdom Plenty, division, angiospermy, class monocotyledony, order poles, family poesy, genus triticum, and species astivum. Let's study a classification of an animal. Let's say housefly. Housefly fall under the kingdom Animalia, phylum Chordata, class Insecta, order Diptera, family Musidae. Genus Musca and Species Domestica. So, study well. Comment if you have any doubts. I have already shared four videos of Chapter 1. Watch those videos before trying to answer in yourself. Links are shared in description box. Next day, coming with Chapter 2. Till then, take care. Bye.